Hi WPP stars, my name is David and welcome to the Cambio Wine Cellar. Uh, we are in Torino, in the middle of Torino, in the center of Torino. It's a piece of history of part and, uh, of Italy. Uh, this cellar has been built in 1680, uh, so around uh, roughly 100 years before the rest of the restaurant will be built. In the beginning it wasn't really a cellar and it started to be a cellar in the 18th century, probably with Cavour. Uh, actually, at the moment, there are 19,000 bottles in the cellar and we got a turnover around 1,000 to 2,000 bottles, it depends on the peak of the season, per month. Uh, we have around 180 um, different beans of champagnes and we are ambassador of Don Perignon uh, for Italy with other 18 restaurants. We got a few nice old vintages of Don Perignon, like this 66 Magnum. It's quite interesting, it's a very rare bottle, it's a unique bottle uh, present in, in Italy at the moment. So I will show you around our cellar, so we start walking. A few more P2 or P3 Dom Perignon. Some small winemakers of Champagne, of course. We're gonna walk a little bit. It's very whole cellar as you can see and uh, here we are in Italian white wines. We got more or less the most famous white wine from Italy and North. So we got a classic Gaia Ray, one of the best Chardonnay in Italy. This wine uh, is dedicated to Gaia, the first daughter of Mr. Angelo and Ray, the grandmother, right? It's more like a Merceau style Chardonnay. But we got very small winemakers from all around Italy. Because this very special wine, this is an amphora wine, has been aged in amphora. It's a blend of Tokai, Italian Tokai, of course, and uh, Ribolla Gialla, and this from Veneto. It's orange wine. We work a little bit more for the and uh, we are coming in to the international white wines. So we got mainly over here Burgundy, German, Austrian white wines, but we got as well some uh, uh, wines from the rest, we call it from the rest of the world. So we got New Zealand, Croatia, Lebanon, and uh, New Zealand, Argentina. We got some very old vintages of white Bordeaux, like Domaine Chevalier 87. It's very special wine. And over here it's all the white burgundies. You got a big selection, a lot of fans of course of white burgundies. Coche de Riz, 07. A great vintage. Some of course Domaine Le Fleuve, La Fon, Gagnard. Austrian wine, Alsace wine, and over here we got some New Zealand wine, and it's one of my favorite wine over here. It's a white Chateau Musar 91. I love this wine, it's the oxidized taste. This blend of grape of Dei I will show a fantastic room, just we just opened it in November of the last year. This is our tasting room. We could do doing master classes over here, up to 20 people. We got a little passage and gonna go in the heart of the cellar. Welcome to our red wine rooms. It's mainly Italian wine, mainly Piedmont wine. We got a lot of Barolos, Barbarescos, and Dolcetto, Barbera, and Diolos. Some North of Piemonte wine, they are quite interesting. We got a Bocca. Probably not too many people know about this appellation. It's a small appellation in North 
is of Piemonte, is in blend of Nebbiolo and Vespolina. Okay. We got some Monfortinos over here. We got a few. Probably the oldest reserve Barolo has been made. 1923, the first bottle has been made. This one is very hot. Okay, 67. Here we got a little bit of South Italy red wines. A few wines from Veneto. We got Dal Forno, the Falpolicella. And of course, Quintarelli. Which teach, of course, Dal Forno to make wine. And then we start walking to the Barbarescos area. We got the Giacosa over here. We got a few vintages and a few old vintages as well. A small winemaker like Nada Fiorenzo. He was a mathematics teacher and he turned to be a Barbaresco winemaker. He makes it first in the 90s and he started making one in 82. He didn't make a penny for eight years. Now it's quite popular and famous. But our great wine is a new winemaker. It's not a new winemaker, it's a new generation of winemaker. It's Roagna, this is the Cric Paillet. It's very old vines of uh, Nebbiolo, of course, and it's made in. Only 800 bottles, 1,000 bottles, it depends from the vintage. Now it's coming out with 2007. It's one of the most expensive Barbaresco ever made. Now we're coming to the Tuscany wine. We got Brunellos, of course, Bion di Santi, mainly, but not all, all the super Tuscans, like Sassicaia, Solaia, Ornellaia, Masetto, Tignanello. Finally, we got to the northeast of Italy. It's a small section. Uh, we got a few Tenuta San Leonardo vintages. It's a blend of mainly uh, Bordeaux grapes and a few wines from South Tyrol, mainly Pinot Noir. But the main thing is we started with the Barolos. An alphabetic order, like a snake coming over there and coming back we got around 300 beans only of Barolos here we got a very old vintage of Aldo Contano, it's a 70 Barolo okay. show you the last part of our cellar, this is an infernot where we keep all the Bordeaux and Bordeaux. Only three people can have access to this door. Romane Conti over here, Grande Chazot, Latache, okay. Richbourg, Romane Saint Vivant, Saint Mouton Rochal, Margot, Cheval Blanc, and some Rome Valley wine, Chave and Chaputi. Thank you very much to see our cellar and I hope to see you soon in Torino.